Tora Fano. How's it going? Hey, Merry Christmas, everybody. Jason and I are out on the land and uh, just doing a bit of, actually, just having a bit of a holiday. But I thought I would come back out to the Mara and I am going to stake up these potato, uh, tomatoes. So I went down to Bunnings. Actually, no, it was Mara 10, I think. Got some bamboo steaks. Gonna tidy those up. And in my potato patch right there, I'm going to um, harvest those today. We're going to pick some strawberries. See the red one down here? Yum, yum. Yeah. Anyways, just a little update. Kumara is coming along well, which is just down there. And there's some more over there and at the back over there. Thankful. Very thankful. Um, yeah. There is. So, we're going to have a little dig in there, pull those up, and um, that's the potato pitch. So, I'm just putting some more nutrients in there, just put some more compost in, build up the soil, and getting that ready for um, autumn for the winter, winter season. So, the mudders that I've got here, I'm just going to prep them. Uh, for the next rotation of uh, vegetables and, then, uh, and that planting process is just putting some more good nutrients back into it so you'll see the in this one here the mulching bark is breaking down um, put some more compost in uh, I'm going to probably leave this one here for the year uh, I'll clean it out but I'm going to leave it let that sit um, we actually got a lot of vegetables out of it this year so I'm going to apply a biblical process, which is letting the year uh, one plot sit for a year. So um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This one I haven't used yet, but I'll be what I put in this top garden here. I'm going to put in back there, over there. So I've got eight patches. I'm going to let that one sit this year. Just allow it to um, kind of regenerate and uh, reset by putting in, um, I'm going to probably put in food compost, uh, grass clippings, uh, manure, uh, buy some bags of compost in just to rebuild the soil up and then I'll progressively work all the way down and do the same thing. Um, but rotating the crops that we have in it, yeah, anyway, um, really thankful. I've actually got my three days off this week. Um, church on Sunday, if you're going to want to come out. I'm uh, doing a theme for January. Uh, and this Sunday we're starting a new beginnings. Or starting over, starting again. Looking at identity, purpose and assignment over the month. But things around starting over. You know, God gives us a fresh start. He makes things new. Even if we trip up sometimes. He gives us an opportunity to find redemption in the midst of it. So looking at redeeming our time, redeeming our spaces and places and uh, the activities that we're involved with. All right, finally, might just do some pictures later and add this to the end of it. But uh, God bless and have a great one. All right, hey, on up. All right, Fano. Here's that potato patch that I did with four potatoes. I had one there. One here, one here, one here, and that's what we got. Not a lot, but hey, it's potatoes. Now, the difference I've done here as opposed to that mutter over there, that one over there, that one that I got 10 kilograms out of, that's just that little patch there, that's half a meter by two meters, maybe, length, is this one was all mulching mark bark. I tried something different here, I just wanted to see how clean they would become. And uh, so again, it's a digless garden because of the clay. Put down cardboard on the bottom. Once I'd done what I did over here, uh, put down the plastic, killed all the weeds on top. Um, 
then I put the bark on, potato, planted the potatoes, and then I just basically mounded up each clump as they came through. Um, and obviously I didn't do it enough because here is this potato here. It's green, and that's because it poked out and it goes green instead of covering it over. So anyway, that's probably half a kilogram. But they, you know, I'll let them cure a bit, let them dry out. That's a little experiment. Um, yeah, probably need to do that a bit. But if I'm going to do that one, just using bark, this is multi bark. Um, yeah, probably going to need to get more, put more soil in there, so compost. Um, if I want more. But they're a lot cleaner than the other ones were. Like that's how they came out. So that's an interesting little little experiment. Anyway, um, I, the photos you would have seen earlier, uh, the potatoes are the tomatoes, which are down here. I trimmed them back, staked them up, um, cleaned up a bit of the weeds around the, the mother, and um, yeah, staked them up a bit, cleaned them up. That way all the energy goes into the fruit rather than to the green leaves. But anyway, it's, hey, I'm just a backyard gardener and um, showing you what you can do in your own mother. This is the kumara in relationship to I just put in the kumara as opposed to the tupu, which is what Caleb's done here in regards to the, the cutoffs. And on that side. So that'll be about May, May, June. We'll harvest those and then ones. And then the lines back at the home. They'll be the first we'll eat, and these ones here we'll store, put some aside for June, July, August, October next year, and then start planting again. So what I'm going to be doing is from this bed down, prepping, start prepping this, as I've done here, so I'll take it up and get some more soil there, dig it up to the soil, clean this one up, uh, let those potatoes dry out a bit, clean those up. And then I'm going to start, as I mentioned, I'll leave this bed. Um, this bed's already growing, because that'll keep going until May, June. Um, but I'll start this lot into my winter crops. So I'm just getting the soil ready now. So we've had last winters come out of this. Um, and we had the last of the cabbage and cauliflower come out of there. This will always be our strawberry beds, so once the strawberries die down, I'm hoping they're perennials, so they'll come back up again next year. Uh, we'll just keep them for our strawberries, and then, um, yeah, get this all ready, and I'll tidy that up. And these, yeah, this one up here, I'll, I'll just leave. Sustainability, high security, good soil health, you know. It's all about our life too, you know. Look after your heart, your mind and your spirit. Put good things in, feed the good things. Uh, my message in January is going to be about identity. And one of the things that uh, you know what you need to do is what you focus on. Uh, maybe you put your energy into, or you put your eyes into. That's going to be your identity. So if you want to change what your identity is, or the language you're using with yourself, you put uh, new soil in. Or in other words, you feed it with new things. Just like the soil here. You know, you want to get rid of the weeds, and all the mud on the side, and the, I mean not the mud, the hut on the side. You've got to clean it out. Allow the spirit to refresh you and you. Yeah. Anyway, pretty cool really. Always working on it, and we got some more potatoes. Alrighty, ducky day.